You're listening to E-Commerce Fast Lane, episode 39. Welcome to E-Commerce Fast Lane, the podcast show to help you build, launch, grow, and scale a wildly successful e-commerce company. Listen to real conversations with proven practical strategies and success stories. Learn how to generate more traffic, more sales, more profit, and customer lifetime value for your Shopify store. And now, your host and e-commerce entrepreneur, Steve Hutt. Hey there, it's Steve, and welcome back to the e-commerce fast lane podcast. Now, this is your first time listening. This is an e-commerce show where we have honest and transparent conversations about building and thriving online with your store powered by Shopify or Shopify Plus. Now, new episodes are available each week with your favorite podcast player through iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, um, and Spotify. Or you can also sign up online at ecommercefastlane.com. You can stream it live there, um, or you can be notified uh, when new shows are being released. Now, in today's episode, I'm chatting with Yanni Albaz, who is the co-founder and CEO of a platform called Lux, and it's spelled L-O-O-X. And, you know, I've been wanting to get him on the show for a while now, and, you know, I'm glad that we're able to make this work today. And, you know, you're definitely going to be uh, in for a treat. You know, you're going to learn a lot about the power of collecting photo reviews for your happy customers, which then will strengthen your brand and kind of drive more sales uh, through social proof. So it's definitely a must-have strategy and a great technology stack that can make all of this happen. So let's jump into the show. So hi, Yanni. Welcome to e-commerce Fastlane. Hey, Steve. It's great to be here. Thank you. Uh, uh, my pleasure. You know, I'm going to st- start right off the top here is that, uh, you know, I follow you through a lot of the Facebook groups and through Twitter and stuff. You hit a milestone today or certainly last week uh, with 20,000 paying customers now using looks. And I just want to give you kind of a a public kudos of a fantastic job that uh, you and your team are doing. Thank you so much. It's a huge milestone for us and we couldn't be happier. So on a high level, there's some people, uh, you know, of the five or 600,000 merchants that are on Shopify, uh, 20,000 of them know who you are and are, you know, actively using your solution. But of the others that don't know who you are, can you talk about more on a high level, kind of what does Lux do and what problem does it solve for Shopify store owners? Let me start with our mission. Our mission is to help e-commerce entrepreneurs succeed with the power of their happy customers. Um, and what, what we've built here at Looks is a photo reviews app that helps Shopify merchants collect photo re- product reviews with customer photos and then use them to increase sales using social proof that just looks great. And so now is Looks strictly a Shopify only solution or are you multi-platform? Looks is a strictly a Shopify only uh, solution. We are uh, 100% focused on uh, building the best product for Shopify and Shopify Plus stores. And uh, we found this focus to be very beneficial for us and for our customers. Yeah, it's pretty exciting to have like a full 20,000 Shopify merchants only because some apps, uh, developers and marketing platforms that I speak to uh, on this podcast and they talk about, you know, the size of their active users, uh, usually it's blended across, you know, other e-commerce solutions, but it's exciting that you've kind of made the decision to double down on Shopify um, and its platform and its partner ecosystem. And now, you know, having over 20,000 now active subscribers. So I think that's um, uh, pretty impressive and great for this ecosystem. So let's talk about what it does. So let's like, how does Looks actually work? Sure. So Looks is a Shopify app and installing it is basically as easy as it gets. We integrate automatically with the store. And once you install Looks, we let you customize it for your own brand and needs. We, once, you, once you have uh, Looks running, we enable merchants to automate post-purchase emails uh, that prompt customers to add their reviews. And uh, we let merchants also offer a next purchase discount if the customer also adds a photo. So these emails, um, they're fully customizable. Merchants can decide how they look. They can uh, customize the content, their timing, and they can define which incentive they're willing to offer in exchange for a photo review. For example, if a merchant offers, uh, they can offer 20% uh, or $10 uh, off your next purchase if you include a photo of yourself using the product that you bought. After we collect um, all the reviews, we display them in beautiful widgets um, across the store. Uh, You can display ratings and reviews on your product pages, of course, on your homepage, on your cart page, on a dedicated reviews page, and so on. 
Yeah, I've noticed uh, quite a few different options for these different widgets to display. So no matter uh, whatever theme you're using, if it's a free theme from Shopify or if it's a premium theme uh, from a third-party uh, theme developer or even a custom theme, there are ways of uh, using uh, these widgets to display uh, along with the, the brand's kind of look and feel and the voice uh, of the brand. So I think that's a really cool feature. Right. So we, we can integrate into any theme uh, from the Shopify theme store or custom theme. Uh, and we built looks to be mobile first. So uh, we made sure that all the widgets look great on mobile devices, any screen size. And obviously in the age of Instagram now uh, being so popular, I mean, Facebook obviously is the is the biggie for traffic driver and uh, number of users, but Instagram being so visual and your solution being a visual solution with customers leaving video uh, type or, or picture type reviews and stuff, it makes sense that you have a mobile first strategy considering that Instagram is mobile first. So there are a lot of people that are listening that maybe understand, I guess, the benefits of maybe product reviews on the product page. But can we talk about like how uh, does kind of generating reviews, like picture reviews, how does it increase sales? Yeah, sure. So yeah, just like you mentioned, displaying product reviews on the product page is probably the most intuitive benefit because um, we all know that when we shop online, we check out reviews and reviews help us increase trust and eventually they increase conversion rates. But reviews are actually also a great tool uh, to help merchants gain more traffic and to encourage repeat purchases. So let let me um, go through this and I'll start from the top. So first and foremost, reviews increase conversion rates. When uh, shoppers first visit their website, the visitors are not familiar with the merchant's brand. And since it's online shopping, uh, they can't check out the products physically. Uh, So merchants need to win visitors' trust before they can make the sale. And consumers trust consumers more than they trust brands. Uh, So enabling your customers to leave detailed reviews on your product pages is a sure way to get uh, your brand be perceived as more reliable and to reduce concerns during the buying process. And what's interesting is that 85% of customers uh, trust online reviews just as much as they trust personal recommendations. And our data shows that when you feature reviews on your website, you will produce an uplift of 26% in sales on average. Um, And I can give you an example. Uh, We work with a store called Dart Fly Screens, and they sell fly screens and other motorbike accessories, and they export about 85% of their products. Um, So since the majority of customers can't come to a physical store and see the product from themselves, social proof is just absolutely essential. To date, they've gathered over 1,600 photo reviews with uh, looks, and each product page now has dozens of reviews with photos showing happy customers. And since they've uh, installed looks, They've not only seen a significant increase in conversion, but when we spoke with them, we learned that the reviews have actually dramatically decreased incoming support. Uh, Since customers can see uh, real photos that show how the product looks on specific bike models, they get much less people inquiring about the product prior to purchase. But another way reviews increase sales is retention. And we it's pretty much common knowledge that it's much cheaper to retain an existing customer than to acquire a new one. And this is one of the greatest benefits of using a quality review solution because when a customer submits a positive review, they become a brand advocate in a way. Uh, They're publicly declaring that they love this brand or this product. And if they add a photo of themselves to the review, then they're really putting themselves out there. Um, So by providing those reviewers with a discount for the next purchase, merchants are really making it an easy decision for their happy customers to shop again. Uh, And we we see amazing stats for this. Uh, For some of the stores, we see upwards of 40% discount redemption rate, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we we actually conducted a case study with BlendJet, uh, which is a Shopify Plus store, uh, who told us that they've made more money from the repeat sales through customers uh, redeeming their discount uh, than they ever spent on Looks. So even if the reviews did nothing to increase their conversion rate, Looks has more than paid for itself uh, multiple times over. And that's great to hear, though, too, because, you know, Shopify Plus uh, store owners typically are the high growth kind of high volume merchants. And uh, knowing I know there's quite a few uh, plus merchants that have made the choice to use the look solution. So it's great to have a case study now that uh, can prove the value of what the solution can do long term for lifetime value and uh, repeat order rate. Definitely, for sure. And we're currently working with over 250 uh, Shopify Plus stores. And yeah, we're definitely seeing, you know, once you apply 
what we've built to the scale of Shopify Plus stores, the benefits um, daily are just incredible. The last benefit I wanted to uh, to cover is traffic, um, which is, I think, completely unintuitive on how um, generating uh, reviews is going to help you increase traffic. But if you think about it, visual reviews are great content pieces to share with customers and followers because they provide a, a beautiful and an authentic endorsement of your products uh, that potential customers can really relate to. And we, uh, with Looks, we help merchants leverage the content that they collect through Looks to drive high quality traffic to social media, to ads, email marketing, and search engines. We mm. did the case study with ICE, which is a leading online jewelry retailer, which is active since 1999. And they reported that they're seeing upwards of 8% conversion rate for traffic coming in through reviews that they shared to social media. So that's the show, just comes to show, uh, you know, once you share a review, how strongly it resonates with, with the audience and how it drives them to purchase as well. Nice thing too, it's like evergreen content. And I use that term meaning that once the review is there, I mean, it could be three months, six months, it could be a year old and you're still selling the same product, but it just, it just compounds itself over time of uh, someone leaving uh, a photo review of a product that they're quite happy with. They now become this, as you mentioned, brand advocate. And I think that's, you know, all part of the kind of marketing funnel. You know, it's one of the topics that comes up quite a bit on this show, you know, talking about awareness, like, you know, if you think of a funnel wide at the top and narrow at the bottom, but, you know, with the awareness and kind of consideration for a brand and that's people coming to your website, taking a look, and it really helps. And you mentioned it too, you know, let's win visitors' trust before buying. Well, that's part of the awareness and consideration phase of a brand of trying to get net new visitors to your website. They get there somehow, word of mouth, uh, through paid acquisition, SEO. There's many ways of getting people to the site. Now they get there and they're considering the product. And wow, what a great way awareness and consideration wise to have some trust uh, there. And that just continues down the journey of, you know, them actually converting. Then there's the loyalty and then the advocacy at the end uh, where people are, you know, highly recommending. And, you know, and that's what's happening now with looks is people are buying, loving the product, a little bit of an incentive to want to share a picture of the product, which then compounds itself on the product page for more trust. And, you know, you, I, I wrote one note down as you were speaking that, really resonated with me. And I want to make sure that I share it again with everyone. But you mentioned, you said consumers trust other consumers much more than brands themselves. Can you expand a tiny bit on that? Because I think that's really, that's a, quite a compelling statement that consumers trust other consumers more than brands. You know, I can speak about, you know, the fact that especially the younger generation, they are, they're just used to live in social media and they're used to getting other people's opinions and they're used to uh, consulting with strangers and they, they, they're able to exchange information with people who they don't physically know um, on a very high trust level, right. which, is, which is just part of why reviews work so well. People, you know, when people see a photo review, it, it's very obvious that it's not fake. I mean, you see 20 different uh, photo reviews for one product and you can see it's not a professional photo. Uh, it hasn't been photoshopped. And um, we kind of just have this uh, innate mechanism, which lets us know that this seems authentic. And when you see a mm -hmm. action used by real people like yourself, um, it's really easy to kind of uh, relate to that and uh, make a decision based on the content. Yeah, Ezra Firestone, who's a uh, influencer in the e-commerce space and runs Smart Marketer and a few other uh, websites, but he also owns, he's actually a, a practitioner uh, selling online through quite a few brands. And one of his brands is called Boom by Cindy Joseph, and it's a cosmetic brand, uh, more for baby boomers. So kind of the, the 50 plus kind of market. And, um, you know, when you go to Boom by Cindy Joseph, I'll put it in the, in the show notes for people to have a look, but, you know, you may not be impressed. And I would say probably not impressed at all in the design and the look and feel of the website itself. Um, it's, it has a very um, older looking, not a modern slicker look that you would think that a newish cosmetic brand would have. And so, but the reality is, is that it's claim to fame and why it does so well. And Ezra has been very uh, public about this is that it's because of the brand advocates and the people that are sharing their experiences with the product. And, uh, you know, and then you can really see yourself using the product. So, you know, all of these women 
thousands of them through widgets on the product page, on the footer, all over really, really, really sells the benefits of the product without the brand having to push it so hard. It's like other people are helping you sell your product. Number one, because you have a great product, people really, really like it. And then using review solution through picture and video is very compelling in that sales process. Yeah, I mean, competition has never been more fierce in, in e-commerce and it, it's just going to become more and more expensive to just try to throw marketing dollars on cold audiences and hope to convert them. And this means, you know, that the brands need to find a sustainable strategy, uh, which has to be based on a loyal customer base, on advocates, on people who buy again, refer friends, provide social proof, and so on, as a way to um, to build this kind of compounding uh, system that keeps on generating sales without always investing more money to acquire them. Yeah, it doesn't happen overnight. That's another takeaway is that uh, for the merchants and brands that I have an opportunity to work with, it's like this is a strategy that's been implemented and it's a long-term play, but it does have short-term benefits right away by if you don't have any reviews uh, in picture, um, it starts, as you said, it starts to compound over time, but it really starts compounding within six months to the one year mark because then uh, you have so many of them on there and diverse of people. And then you put, you know, as a purchaser or potential a buyer, you kind of put yourself in the shoes of other people that have kind of walked before you and seeing they're enjoying the product and they've taken time out of their day to actually get it up there and share it with the brand because they love it so much. So I think that's really, uh, really cool. So I'm always fascinated with the the journey of Shopify app partners. So tell me why you've decided to focus on visual reviews. Um, so after I graduated, I joined Sears, uh, the American retailer who just declared bankruptcy. And I joined as a product manager. Uh, Sears had acquired an Israeli startup and they turned it into an innovation center, which is focused mainly on social e-commerce experiences. And that's how I really got to know the domain. And that's where I also uh, met my partner, Moan, who is our CTO. And three years, three years ago, um, Moan and I decided to start our own business. And it, it was just basically natural for us to innovate in a space we knew well and we liked after years of working for Sears on social e-commerce products. And back then, reviews, uh, which are arguably the most important asset you can have in, uh, in e-commerce and social e-commerce, um, reviews were stuck in the 90s. They were just unattractive lists of five stars in text. And many uh, consumers started suspecting uh, that reviews that they read online might be, might be fake. And uh, mm -hmm. we've seen um, big companies struggle with this kind of perception. Um, at the same time, the web was becoming increasingly visual with experiences like Instagram and Pinterest. And for us, we just knew uh, there's a great opportunity here. And we were actually the first ones to introduce photo reviews on Shopify. I think that in hindsight, it seems kind of obvious that visual marketing is now dominating the web. But specifically when it comes to uh, reviews, we found that visual reviews convert much, much better than text-only reviews. And our data shows that photo reviews on product pages will drive up to 91% uplift in conversions. That's amazing because it kind of reminds me why I was recently looking uh, to buy a book and I wanted to read the reviews. and visually on Amazon alone, you tend to, you know, if there's hundreds of reviews, you tend to go towards the ones where the person's actually taken the time to take a picture and show them with the book in their hands. And then sometimes there's text underneath it. So I think you're spot on there. Yeah. And I can, I can tell you there, there's some science behind why this happens. Visuals, they evoke a strong emotional response with, with people. And that's a primary factor in most purchase decisions. Also our brains, they process images 60,000 times faster than we process text. And speed matters because we, we form a first impression in less than a second, in 50 milliseconds, we form a first impression. And that's not just not enough time to actually read textual reviews, but more than enough to process images and other visual cues uh, on the page. So the bottom line is before the visitor even gets to reading the textual reviews on your site, they often are already made up their mind about whether or not to trust your brand based on visual cues alone. Yeah, and it goes back to the same comment I made about the Boom by Cindy Joseph uh, website. Even though maybe the website doesn't have the slickest look and feel, one thing it does do very, very well is visually show lots of women in their 50s, 60s, and 70s using the product. And so it's 
it's quite compelling that, yeah, I'm with my people. These people made a decision to use this product. And so I'm likely going to buy it too. And hence his conversion rate is through the roof, his reorder rate is through the roof, average order value, um, the long-term growth is there too, all because of using picture reviews on their homepage and product page. Let's talk about user-generated content. Why is it so valuable then um, for Shopify merchants? Just like we discussed, 2019 is going to be the biggest year for uh, e-commerce ever in history. And there has never been more competition. As we discussed, just throwing dollars on cold audiences is not going to be a sustainable strategy for the, for the long term. And that brings us to the era of brand building. Brands that succeed, they do so through their loyal customer base. Uh, these are customers who buy from you repeatedly. They tell their friends. And this is where the money is. So branding doesn't just mean having a catchy name or a cool logo. It's about building an actual relationship with customer. And there's nothing more authentic and relatable than user-generated content. Um, so this has to be a major part of every brand's e-commerce strategy for uh, 2019. So let's jump out of the hood then. So we see the benefits, we understand the lifetime value, we understand the trust factors that go along with it, win visitors with trust before you're buying. And we understand now that consumers definitely trust other consumers more than brands. Uh, we understand you have a, there's a technology stack through looks, through widgets that can implement this uh, process. So let's talk about maybe some notable features that you can share with our listeners. Sure, of course. So just uh, like you mentioned, the basics are our automatic review request emails uh, to collect reviews and our beautiful widgets, which display the reviews um, anywhere on your store. And um, we've been working on building lots of very exciting uh, new stuff lately. So let me just kind of give you a few, a few examples. We've been building uh, integrations with other apps that help us enhance, enhance uh, the looks uh, experience. So for example, we've uh, integrated with Aftership which enables us to time emails according to actual delivery times. Uh, partnered with Push Owl, which enables us to collect reviews through web push notifications. We will also uh, soon release integrations that will let merchants collect reviews through Facebook Messenger. We've integrated with Smile.io and with Loyalty Lion, uh, and they enable merchants to reward reviewers with loyalty points. And we've integrated with Google Shopping. Uh, we have integrated with Facebook tabs with Shopify Flow, which is available for Shopify Plus stores. And um, there are many more and many more coming. And I'd like to mention just another feature that we released uh, last quarter, which I'm really excited about. And we call it the Looks Pop-Up. The Looks Pop-Up is, is really a whole new way to build strong trust uh, with visitors. It's a social proof pop-up that surfaces relevant reviews while uh, shoppers are browsing the store, even before they scroll down to the review section. So it's a uh, context aware a smart pop-up, which helps uh, merchants drive uh, visitors from the homepage to a product page, from a product page to the cart page, and from cart page to checkout. We launched it about three months ago, and we already have thousands of uh, stores who've activated the pop-up, and we've been getting incredible feedback from merchants. Very cool. And so how is that pop-up triggered? Is it a time-based or is it uh, kind of action-based on the site? So um, we let merchants configure how often they want this pop-up to appear. But basically, it's a pop-up that appears in one of the corners of your screen and showcases a review that's relevant to the current page that the visitor is uh, is viewing. So if you're viewing the home page, we'll display different reviews from all sorts of products uh, with the goal of helping uh, the customer discover a product that they'd like and to uh, move to the product page. On the product page, mm. we'll only surface reviews related to that specific product and so on. We also display the, the pop-up uh, on the cart page, and it just basically helps uh, merchants immediately surface this kind of indication that, hey, we have positive reviews. You can even see the photo right here. And there's a great click-through rate for this pop-up, especially with uh, first-timers. There's a theme to this podcast episode today about building trust uh, with your potential buyers. And, you know, this is certainly one way of doing it. And it sounds like with this pop-up, you have that opportunity to be able to show relevant pictures from customers who have purchased. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Now, how do you generate a lot of reviews? Because I mean, we obviously have proven the fact that having a lot of five-star reviews certainly has is, is evergreen content that's available on the product page. And, you know, you'll get more over time um, as these automatic email requests go out. And then obviously with your great connections now just to the app ecosystem, you know, we've interviewed Smile and Loyalty Lion and 
to ship and push owl and like a lot of these ones are quite popular on shopify so it's great that you're connecting to all those ones which will help trigger and incentivizing these uh, picture reviews but let's like what sort of tactics can you share that people can use to get more reviews yeah on a strategic level you need to have a great product and to provide great customer service without that it's going to be hard to uh, to generate actual you know uh, five star reviews but on a tactical level there are many things that you need to do in order to really maximize the, this funnel of output so i'll go over this uh, quickly uh, we also prepared a blog post detailing all of our tips on how to uh, generate as much reviews as possible. And I'm just going to give uh, the highlights. So number one, make it easy for the customer. As a merchant, you want to remove any friction and really make it easy for a customer to leave a review. Um, this is why we keep our review process simple. It's a slick review form that asks for a five-star rating, text, and a photo, and it can be done within a minute. My second tip is automate. Consumers will often leave a review uh, for business when they're asked. An automated review generation process is a great way to make sure that you're always asking your customer for a review rather than expecting them to come back to your website uh, and proactively write one. Number three, give an incentive. Simply asking for a review is great, uh, but some customers will need some extra motivation to invest the time to write up a review and to add uh, their photo. So to give this extra nudge, make sure you include some kind of an attractive offer. It could be a discount for the next purchase or loyalty points. Uh, and this way, you don't only get more reviews, but you really also increase your chances for repeat business. Number four, uh, customize the email body and the subject. So we, we did a, a data research, and based on over 2 million review request emails that we sent out last month, the average open rate reached 36%, which is great, but this varies drastically from brand to brand. Customizing email subjects to better fit your audience, you can significantly open, uh, boost open rates and the number of reviews that you generate. We found some strategies uh, such as emphasizing the incentive, injecting some humor, or running a contest, which are extremely effective. Number five is timing. Uh, there's no easier way uh, to frustrate your customer than to send them a review request when the product hasn't arrived yet. Uh, so you want to make sure to probably time your review requests, calculate your average delivery time, add some safety margin, Add like four or five days to find the right time to let them have a chance to use the product. Um, and there are great chances they've already taken a photo of the product. So if your delivery times vary a lot between individual orders, it would be best to rely on a solution that can automate review requests based on actual delivery time uh, for each customer. This is why we offer the after ship integration uh, to make sure that we don't get the review requests not too soon and not too late. Number six, reminders. Uh, so sometimes your initial request will catch the customer in the wrong time. It doesn't mean that the customer is not interested to leave a review. It just means they might have been on the go. Um, they might just not have uh, time at the moment. So sending them a second request, kind of a gentle reminder to, to complete their review is very effective. And we found that it helps our merchants generate 30% more reviews. Um, and last but not least is photo reminders. And uh, since we prioritize photo reviews in our uh, review generation strategy, we help merchants increase the number of photos that they can collect, even if when the customer left their original review, it was just a textual one. So um, they might have not had time to, uh, to take a photo, and we let merchants send a photo reminder email saying, hey, thanks for your review. Why don't you add a photo to it? And then again, offer an incentive uh, to give them the small nudge to complete it. Yeah, this is great. I'll make sure in the show notes, I haven't a chance to read it, but after we're done recording today, I'm going to go to your blog and get the link to kind of the keys, the full in-depth article on keys to generating a lot more reviews. And, and I guess as a summary, I guess these seven points that I jotted down, so make it easy for the customer, make sure you automate the process, offer an incentive delicately nudge them in the right direction to want to leave a photo review, customize your email and your body copy just to get 
a high open rate. This is an A-B test uh, nonstop uh, until you uh, continue getting an open rate that, you know, acceptable for your brand and industry. Um, you know, and timing again, I totally agree with you on timing. I think that's a very important strategy because you're right. You don't want to send reviews. I've read reviews where, hey, I just got it yesterday or I've only had it for a day or it hasn't arrived yet, but I'm, you know, I'm going to give it a five star because I'm really excited that it's coming. <laughs> and I don't think that's very, that's not as effective as timing it correctly. It's nice that you've connected uh, with Aftership and there's a few other uh, solutions out there that will trigger and help people you know, locate their packages and then knowing when it's being delivered, a web hook back to you to then go ahead and send out that review request. Reminders, obviously you mentioned, so nudging people in the right direction again. They may, yeah, everyone's busy. Uh, you may catch them at the wrong time. Could have been an AM or a PM or they're busy, they're working and you know people can get sidetracked. And so just like a cart recovery emails, you, you look and see sometimes it's not always the first email or push notification or Facebook messenger retargeting notification that is the one that converts an abandoned cart. Um, so it could be the second or third and just, it's just being consistent and getting it out there and doing it. And it's nice that you have that reminder option. And then, you know, same with the photo reminders. If you have a text review, but no photo incentivize that. I think these are all, these seven are really great uh, tactics that, you know, you know, you as a, as a site owner should seriously consider if you don't have uh, picture reviews, uh, it's time to implement a solution like this. So we are nearing the end of the show. Do you have any kind of closing comments or any kind of takeaways that you would like to leave with our listeners today? Sure. So I'm just going to um, yeah, kind of uh, repeat uh, the highlights that we discussed during this episode. Um, one, we're entering the era of brand building, which means stronger relationships with customers. Number two, social proof and user-generated content are extremely important for brand building and making more sales. Number three, visuals are significantly more effective in building strong and quick trust with customers compared to textual reviews. And last but not least, Looks is the only app geared specifically for generating visual social proof, both in terms of functionality and of design. We'd love you to check us out and you can reach out if you have any questions. So the next step here is guess how people can learn more about the Looks app. And the easiest way would be to go to the uh, Shopify app store and you can search for Looks, which is L-O-O-X, and you can add it to your store. Um, you can go to their website at Looks, so L-O-O-X dot A-P-P, so Looks app. We've also uh, spoken to Yanni, has been very uh, generous, and they typically have a 14-day free trial uh, for their solution. But because you're a listener of the e-commerce Fastlane podcast, I've created a redirect. So if you go to ecommercefastlane.com forward slash looks, it will redirect you to a 30-day free trial. And it'll give you an opportunity to really uh, see the solution in action. And then you can allow for uh, you know, a full month's worth of orders that are being processed uh, through your Shopify store to have the opportunity for these emails to go out, um, start collecting uh, photo reviews and getting them published uh, on widgets and on your product pages, really, you know, with the goal of helping you get that trust and authority and getting people uh, more interested in wanting to uh, convert and uh, and buy from you. So awesome. Thanks so much, uh, Yanni, for coming on the show today and uh, and sharing your wins and successes so far with 20,000 uh, users. Cheers to uh, 2019. And thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Steve, for having me. I'm really happy we found the time uh, to have this chat. All the links mentioned on today's episode is available at ecommercefastlane.com forward slash 39 for episode 39. I would love to hear your feedback and the results that you've achieved after implementing the look solution. So make sure you take advantage of that 30 day trial and then ping me on Twitter at Stephen Hutt or join over 6,000 other Shopify brands and entrepreneurs on the thriving with Shopify Facebook page. And that's it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you, a loyal listener of the show, and it's my hope this podcast is offering you a ton of value through growth strategies, tactics, and exclusive insider tips on the best Shopify apps and marketing platforms, all with my personal goal to help you build, launch, grow, and scale with Shopify. Thanks for investing some time today and listening to the show. I'm so proud that you have a growth mindset and are a constant learner. I truly appreciate you and your entrepreneurial journey. Enjoy the rest of your week and keep thriving with Shopify.